here we have a pentagon. And I want to show you something about this pentagon. Look at that. It still fits inside the frame. And it fits again. No matter how much I'm turning it, it'll still fit in the frame. And that's because all the sides of this polygon are the same length. Each side of the pentagon is the same length as the other. And when we have a polygon like this, where all the sides are the same length, we call it a regular polygon. So this is a regular polygon. It's a pentagon that's a regular pentagon. Now there's a few parts of regular polygons that we could explore. This knob right here is in the center of the polygon. But I'm wondering, how do we find the center of a polygon if we don't have an inset with a knob? Let me show you something. I'm going to trace this polygon, trace this pentagon. Yeah, sure enough, there's no center there. But let me show you a way that we can determine the center. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try bisecting an angle and see if that's going to help us find the center. So Seem like that really helped me. Oops. That didn't really help me find the center. It sure did bisect that angle, but hang on, what if I bisect another angle here? Aha, uh -huh. hang on, look at this. This point where my two angle bisectors intersect, that is the center of our pentagon. I'll just write center right here. All right, there's a few other parts of a regular polygon that we could take a look at. If I have a line segment with that has its end points on a vertex, of the polygon and the other endpoint on the center. This is called the radius of our pentagon. And then there's one more, one more thing uh, that we can take a look at in terms of the polygon, the part of a regular polygon. And that is, there's a line segment that extends from the center and goes perpendicular to uh, one of the sides and actually bisects that side. So let's just measure the, measure our, to get our uh, center there. This line segment is called an apothem. So we have an apothem, a radius, and the center. 
And of course, we have all the other parts of polygons that we've talked about. The perimeter, we could draw perhaps the diagonal and some of the other parts. Uh, and so maybe you'd like to label your own pentagon, or maybe you'd like to find all these parts on a different shape, on a hexagon or a nonagon.